You are watching Amazon Prime, the network that brought you your sunscreen in two days. Amazon Prime, like the eighth best way to watch TV. Hi, Chris. How was school? Wait, what's that note pinned to your backpack? Bet it's from a girl in the lunchroom who wants a taste of corn dog. Was that a sex joke? It's, I don't know, shut up. Oh, dear, it's from Principal Shepard. Peter, he wants to see us first thing tomorrow. Oh, Chris is in trouble. Sounds like he needs a little fatherly wisdom. Better get my pipe. Peter, I think that's the wrong kind of pipe. I'm sorry, Mom. I haven't been doing too great in school lately. Well, that's very disappointing. I guess your father and I will have to talk to the principal and figure out how to handle this. Ah, I wouldn't worry, Lois. I never did very well in school, either. I even failed homeroom. Peter Griffin? There. Thank you for coming, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. Chris seems to be struggling in his classes, and often when kids have trouble in school, it's because something is going on at home. I haven't been attracted to Lois for a year and a half. Principal Shepard, exactly how poorly is Chris doing? Well, right now he has a D-minus average. His only hope is his history final tomorrow. If he fails that, I'm afraid he'll have to repeat ninth grade. This seems more like a phone call. Oh, my God. I always knew Chris wasn't a great student, but I had no idea the situation was so dire. Don't worry. I'll make sure Chris passes history. You can count on me. The same way NASA counted on me during the Apollo 13 crisis. All right, I'm going to need three coffins, mahogany with brass handles, three new daddies for the dead astronauts' kids, and a black suit for me. Sir, I think I know a way we can get them back. Is it hard? It might be. Yeah, we, we've kind of already decided we're going in this direction. <laughs> All right, Chris, you got a lot riding on this history exam tomorrow. I know. Sam Cooke didn't know much about history, and he got shot in a hotel wearing nothing but a sports coat and a shoe. Yeah, that's hilarious, Chris, but we got to buckle down. Now, I'm going to help you study by nailing your door shut. That way, you'll have no choice but to hit the books. Oh, crap, I left my phone in there. Damn it, it's nailed shut. Dad, it looks like some girl sent you a picture of her privates. Oh, crap. Lois, I don't have the phone. Stop sending pictures. I already sent four more. Chris, put down the phone. Don't look at those. Wait a minute. That's both her hands. Who the hell is taking the pictures? Ah! All right, give me that phone and get back to work. And before you judge your mother, you did most of that damage. Oh. Hey, Chris, just wanted to see how the studying's going. You guys, I've been at this all night, and I haven't learned a thing. There's no way I'm going to pass Mr. Harpington's history test. Oh, come on, Chris. I'm sure that's just the nerves talking. Here, I'll quiz you. Who said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself? Scooby-Doo? No. Shaggy? It's nobody on Scooby-Doo. Wow, Chris, you, uh, you really don't know history. I know. And if I fail ninth grade, I won't amount to anything. I'll end up being one of those bus drivers that parents don't completely trust. You have a beautiful child, Mrs. Roberts. God, poor Chris. He's studying as hard as he can, but it doesn't seem to matter. Well, we gotta do something. If he doesn't pass this test, he's gonna have to... Hey. He's gonna have to repeat ninth grade. Well, there's not much we can do about it. Some people just aren't able to learn from books. Well, maybe he doesn't have to. What do you mean? Maybe there's a way to actually show Chris history with my time machine. You know, that's really nice of you, Stewie. Well, he's my brother. We've got to stick together like that two-headed girl on TLC. Okay, who wants to taste it and who wants to smell it? 